My name is Cassia Sharpley and I am the owner and the founder of the Honeycomb Haven Foundation project. It is situated in Vintuk, Namibia and it has been a catalyst of hope for poverty eradication within the constituency of Sevenden Axtalan in Ochimise. It started in 2018 and it got its true identity and name in 2022. I'm doing this specifically with children and the youth because I believe that they are the future of this country. And I do believe that Namibia has great potential to eradicate poverty on its own. We have so many resources and I believe that our future generation knows exactly how to use those resources. And they just need to be educated on this. The Honeycomb Haven Foundation offers this for the young people, for them to understand their purpose and to truly take on life for what it truly is, understanding why they are in this world and making a difference, reminding them that their circumstances do not define them. It doesn't define their future because the future is within their hands. So ever since the age of 10, I was actually exposed to poverty. I've seen what it's like, not only within Vintuk, but in different parts of Namibia. With my parents being preachers and us having our own foundation, I could actually go on outreaches from the age of 10. And ever since then, I've had a heart for kids my age. And just to know that they don't have the luxury I have, it has always settled in my heart that I want to help. And so in 2018, I was Miss Teen Continents Namibia, and I had the honor of going to Las Vegas and putting Namibia on the map in that way. And all I remember from my experience in Las Vegas was my interview, where I actually won Best Interview, and all I spoke about was the children, the potential that Namibia has, and the futures of those kids. And so in 2018, I started with this project. I never neglected the children. Those children were my hope. They were my haven. When I saw that Miss Namibia was being advertised, I saw this as an opportunity to get the project running again. And that's when I got the identity for Honeycomb Haven Foundation. I always believe that the honeybee is so insignificant, but it has such beautiful characteristics of loyalty, hard work, discipline, and courage. I believe that I was the honeybee that needed to fill up the honeycomb of these kids. And so it started and it is blooming into something that it is today. It is just a project, but I'm hoping to have it registered as an actual foundation with a true purpose, not only nationally, but internationally. It's innocent hearts ready to receive and ready to dream. When I got to know the kids on a personal level, hearing their aspirations and their dreams, I just knew that it can't die within the constituency of Sivende and Axtalan. Because I believe that the world is their oyster and that their circumstances don't define them. And getting to know them on a personal level, I met a marine biologist, <laughs> I met a psychologist, I met a doctor, I met a pilot. Yeah, and I just... <laughs> I want to get their dreams known and they deserve their dreams to be heard. A few days ago, we actually did a soup outreach and how the outreach was done, I actually just advertised what the kids needed for the outreach and I gathered it all together at my place and I had a set date for the outreach. But then I actually realized I need more exposure. I need to get these kids marketed. I need to build a brand for them and so I got a videographer, a very talented videographer, um, Cool Cat Productions, and he actually helped me and he was so generous enough to come out with me into the informal settlement. And so I remember we picked up my honeybees, <laughs> I call them my honeybees, they're my volunteers, and I could see their faces light up the first moment I met them. I met them for the first time and I could truly see that their hearts were in the right place as well. So we got to the foundation and the overseer of the community, Tanisina, actually told me she's expecting about 300 children. And so we actually taught the kids to wash their hands before they eat, just for hygiene purposes so they don't spread diseases amongst themselves since they're such a compact community. And 
just having the moment of drying their hands and looking into their eyes and talking to them and how excited they were. It was so beautiful and they had so many jokes. It was so amazing to see that even though they're going through so much, they still choose to live their life as if there's nothing wrong. And they have these bright smiles on their faces. And while I'm talking to them, there were two big pots of soup waiting for them. <laughs> They were so hungry and they were so excited to get their little bowls of soup. And I think the youngest kids that were there were actually the ages of two and three years old. In conclusion, with that being said, I want to thank every single person that has contributed to this project, being the Honeycomb Haven Foundation. Having my Tosa background, I always believe in the saying, umtu ngumtu ngabantu. People are people through other people. I believe that we need to unite in order to be a greater and bigger, better generation, not only for Namibia, but for the world. So today we are here with a few young ladies from the Seven Delan constituency and they're just going to share with us their names, their age and what they aspire to be one day. So what's your name? My name is Alexandra. And what's your age? 13 years old. What do you want to become one day? Who do you aspire to be one day? I want to become a doctor. A doctor. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> what's your name? Ashanti. How old are you? I'm 15. What do you aspire to be one day? Um, I want to become a doctor. A doctor. Yeah, I have a friend that also wants to become a doctor. And you? What's your name? Jessica. And how old are you? I'm 14. What do you aspire to be one day? An engineer. An engineer, wow! So as you can see, there's a lot of potential within the constituency of Sevenda and Astralan. And yeah, this is the Honeycomb Haven Foundation. Is your name Fred? Yes. How old are you Fred? Nine. Are you nine years old? Yes. What do you want to become one day? A vet. A vet. You love animals. That is so beautiful. 